Heat is energy on the move. So whenever somebody detects heat flow, one knows that the energy of a system is changing. Heat can either flow into or out of a system. And in this case, we know that the internal energy of the system must be changing because the internal energy of a system is the sum of all of the kinetic and potential energy. So energy can move in the form of heat and work. So anytime we detect heat, we know that energy is on the move. Now in the special condition in which heat is flowing at constant pressure, one can determine a change in a thermodynamic state function called the enthalpy. And since heat flowing indicates change, then heat, abbreviated here with the lowercase q, at constant pressure is equal to some change in energy. This change in energy is, has been called the change in enthalpy delta H. Now enthalpy is defined as internal energy plus the pressure of the system times the volume of the system. Determine the change in enthalpy, never the absolute enthalpy, if you can measure the heat flow at constant pressure. So the change in enthalpy for some system is the heat flow at constant pressure. Heat can either flow into or out of a system. So the change in enthalpy can be defined as endothermic. In this case, heat is flowing into a system. And whenever heat is flowing into the system, the computed value of delta H is going to have a positive sign. This is because if heat flows into the system, we're going to have an increase in energy of the system. So the change in enthalpy will be a positive change. If heat flows out of a system, if you have heat flowing out of a system, we call that an exothermic change. The change in enthalpy for the system is going to be a negative value because the energy has decreased across the change. So you have a decrease in energy of your system because heat energy has flowed out of your system. So we want to try to understand, conceptually understand this concept of enthalpy, and we'll use something very familiar, uh, phase changes, to try to get a handle on uh, conceptually understanding change in enthalpy. So the enthalpy of a physical change is when heat is going into or out of a system, and the heat is transferred into potential energy, that is change of position of the particles. So uh, one type of change in enthalpy for a physical change is called the enthalpy of vaporization, and it's abbreviated delta H of vaporization. And this is uh, the change in energy when a liquid um, is converted to a gas at its boiling point at the constant temperature. All right, and so that's the change in enthalpy vaporization is going to occur at the boiling temperature. Temperature is going to be constant. And so if we think about how the energy changes in the system, um, the energy of the liquid is uh, lower and the energy of the gas is higher. This is energy axis here. And so this is the liquid and this is the gas. And in particular, we can think about the energy in terms of the enthalpy. So the enthalpy is going to increase when you go from liquid to a gas. And so heat is going to flow into the system. So the change in enthalpy here is going to equal the constant um, uh, pressure heat flow at that boiling temperature. Okay. Um, now the opposite, and this is called the heat of vaporization, the opposite process would be condensation where a gas condenses uh, back to a liquid at the constant temperature. And in this case, we would be going down in energy. In order to get from a gas back down to its liquid, then energy must be given off. So whereas the liquid to the gas is a positive change, an endothermic change, a gas to a liquid is a negative change in energy, and we call that an exothermic change. 
the numerical value would be the same, it's just the sign would be different. The term um, that relates to the heat flow when something melts is called the enthalpy of fusion. In this case, uh, we're talking about a solid melting to become a liquid. And if you think about the energy, the enthalpy, the solid is of lower energy than the liquid, and so energy must be put into the system, uh, and the change in enthalpy of fusion is equal to the heat flow into that system uh, when the solid changes to the liquid at the melting temperature. And that's called the delta H of fusion. The opposite process is when a liquid uh, freezes or solidifies, a liquid going to a solid. In this case, you would be starting from a higher energy and moving down to a lower energy when you go from liquid to the solid. So that would be a release of energy. So the liquid to the solid is, a, um, is called the enthalpy of um, solidification or freezing. Those words are both used. Whereas the solid to liquid is called the enthalpy of fusion. That's kind of strange, I know, but that's what it's called. Um, in this case, it's a positive change in energy because energy must be put into the system to go from a solid to liquid. And in this case, it's a negative change going from a liquid down to a solid. Finally, we have the enthalpy of sublimation. This is uh, the process when we have a solid uh, subliming going directly to a gas. Oops. Okay, and in this case again, the solid is of lower energy than the gas, so the solid to the gas, so it's going to be an increase in energy, so the change in enthalpy of sublimation is going to be a positive change. It's going to equal the heat flowing into the system at constant pressure, Q, and so this a change is a positive change, so it's an endothermic change, and then going from a gas back to the solid, that's called the um, deposition. That process is called deposition. And the change in enthalpy of deposition is a negative value because energy needs to leave the system in order for the gas to resolidify. And uh, the magnitude, the amount, would be the same. The sign would be different um, going from a solid to its gas or from its gas back to its solid. So these are some uh, ways to understand better this change in enthalpy for physical change and to recognize that the heat that's flowing into or out of the system is occurring at constant temperature um, at the melting point in this case, at the uh, sublimation temperature in this case. So it's but the change then, since heat is going in or out, the change is occurring in the potential energy, the position of the particles. So a solid to a liquid the particles are getting further apart, so that takes energy. So this is at a higher potential. The liquid's at a higher potential uh, energy state than the solid. And the same for the gas. It's at a higher potential energy state than the solid. Moving from here, you're moving up to a potential energy of zero. Remember, the potential energies are negative values, and as we increase, we get closer and closer to zero. Uh, so enthalpies of physical change have been tabulated for thousands of substances. Using these values, one can predict the amount of heat needed to cause a physical change or the amount of heat that must be removed to cause the opposite physical change. Or, knowing the amount of heat energy that is transferred into or out of a system, one can predict how much of a certain substance will undergo said change.